So it's been a while since we've done a Mustang in Ford News video, so let's just get right to it. Now, a lot of people when it comes to Mustang are excited about the S650. Unfortunately, Ford has been very hush-hush about it. We don't know much more than we knew a couple months ago. What we do know, it will be a 2024 model. And if Ford follows their previous plan, that means availability probably in late 2023, with the order banks opening sometime in the summer and delivery hopefully sometime in the November, December area. When it comes to the outgoing S550, the order banks are going to open late in September for November, December delivery. Now, again, with the S650, it'll probably follow that same plan, but there are rumors that Ford's going to do the reservation system. Now, that worked really well with the Bronco and the Lightning, where enthusiasts can go online, put a $100 deposit down, and then the dealers will contact them when the order banks open and allow them to order the vehicle. Now, again, we don't know for sure that they're going to do this with the S650, but it was very popular with the Lightning and the Bronco, so it makes sense for Ford to do it again. Like other models, usually when the life cycle comes to an end, Ford likes to do a couple special editions. The S550 is no different. Now, last August, they introduced the Ice White package, which was available on the Mustang and the Mustang Mach-E. That got you a custom white paint job, white wheels, white interior, and on the Mustang, white Euro taillights. Now, recently, Ford announced you can do a very, very similar package, but all in black. Now, they had a contest online to name this. They haven't announced the name yet, but they applied for a trademark for the name Dark Horse, which means there's probably a strong possibility that that will be the new package name. Now, in 2022, Ford made a similar package available on the EcoBoost Mustang called the Stealth. I do know somebody who ordered a nice white and is still waiting for one. And again, with the world's production delays and products and chips, who knows how many they're actually going to build. I've actually only ever seen one ice white Mustang in person, and that was at Carlisle at the Ford display. So if you've actually seen an ice white or a stealth out in the wild, if you have, let us know in the comments below. So like I said, the order banks for the 2023 Mustang and open up in September, you can still order a 2022. But if you do want one, you probably want to look more towards a base model as a lot of the options are no longer available for 2022. There will be no more performance pack options available. And also with the Mach 1, no deluxe and no handling pack. So again, dealers have said, if you do want to get a 2022, a base model is going to be the way to go. Now, again, the 2023s will be available soon, so you'll have that option as well. So now let's switch gears from gas-powered Mustangs to electric and talk a little bit about the Mustang Mach-E. Now, Ford has had a recall for 50,000 Mustang Mach-Es with issues with the battery connector overheating. Now, again, these vehicles are still safe to drive, but basically what's happening is the battery is getting too hot if you use a lot of fast charging or a lot of wide open throttle. Now, Ford already limits the amount of wide open throttle you can get to protect the heat in the battery, but it's still becoming an issue with the connector. Now, currently there is no hard fix for these, but there will be a software fix coming sometime in late July. Now, speaking of charging your Mach-E, the Mach-E and the Lightning use the same charger. And a lot of people ask, can you charge at a Tesla charging station? Well, you can, but you will need a $200 adapter to do so, and you cannot use the supercharger option. But again, if you have a Lightning or a Mach-E, the Ford Navigation will give you all the Ford Pass stations where you can get full speed charging. But again, if you need to, in a pinch, you can use a Tesla charger with an adapter. So speaking of electric vehicles, Ford announced a historic restructure of Ford Motor Company into two business units. Ford Blue, which will be the traditional gas and diesel powered vehicles, and then Ford Model E, which will be the electrics. They're also gonna change the structure and how you purchase an electric vehicle. Model E's will be sold through some dealers, but the dealers will not have inventory. They're just gonna facilitate an online sale and the vehicle will be shipped directly to the customer. Also, these prices will be fixed. That means there's no ADMs on them and no negotiation. Will this mean the end of ADMs for other vehicles? Well, we'll have to wait and see, but this direct to consumer approach worked well for Tesla, so it'll probably work well for Ford as well. In a move that was surprising to anybody who's ever been there, Ford has pulled out of SEMA 2022. Now, Ford always had a large main display right up in the middle of SEMA. We were lucky enough to build a few vehicles for that display, including a Focus ST, a couple of Mustangs, and an F-150. Ford also had a huge display called Ford Out Front, which had drifting and demos and all kinds of other stuff going on. So Ford not being at SEMA will definitely be very, very noticeable. Now they have said they do support the aftermarket and still support SEMA, and moving forward, they may return with their EVs, but for now, they're gonna focus on virtual car shows and attending more Ford events. So what does this mean for Ford at SEMA in the future? Well, we'll just have to wait and see.